Hello, this video is on the whole area of hopes and fears in the Middle Way series. So, hopes and fears are in a way part of the human condition. They're something that we're always doing. And that uh, if we're going to include a Middle Way approach to everything that we do in every aspect of our life, this sort of area of how we deal with hopes and fears uh, pertains to that and is relevant. So very generally, uh, if you have a situation where you have hopes and expectations, you want something to happen, you want things to progress uh, in a certain way, now that in itself can be very double-sided and that's part of the middle way approach. Uh, is to take into account that uh, what you want, what you'd like, what you think should happen even, uh, can be helpful or unhelpful. It can uh, cause harmony and positivity and relationship and connectedness and it can also uh, cause disruption and disconnection and strife in various ways. So part of the, the process of dealing with what one could say the hope side, the expectation side, the wanting side, is discernment actually over a period of time in one's life. And I think it's quite useful to see it as one's life work, is this, this sense that one is always getting a sense of are one's uh, hopes and wishes, are they in some way supporting the, the value system of growth and development? I mean, I didn't mean the word system in too rigid a way, but as a, a general ethos, which is much looser. Uh, so that if you have the sense that your, uh, your general uh, attitude to life is for your own and others growth and development then the discernment comes in do your wishes and the things that you want serve that and do they serve it best uh, on the other side you've got the things that you don't like you don't want uh, and the things that you fear and uh, would rather guard against and you know basically don't want to happen and again this is double-sided there are many things that are, are, are dangerous in a particular way to one's growth and development and just because they're exciting and dangerous doesn't mean to say they're good or useful or helpful uh, there are some things that one should uh, be discerningly cautious about uh, and guard against because they're not helpful. You know, an obvious uh, example of that is addictions of various sorts, uh, both inner patterns and external reliances on substances, relationships, sex, excitement. <laughs> Uh, anything that in a way you get that locks you in uh, and locks you out from a creative process and real choice. So in the middle way approach what one is aiming to do is to actually always get the sense within you of the relationship of these two parts. To guard against the, the hopes and expectations that lock you out from creativity and, and positive choice and to choose for those hopes and wishes on the one hand and the, the caution on the other, the guarding on the other, uh, which are helpful and, and serve uh, the whole ethos of growth and development. So in this way that one one has a sense of both together and this is part of the heart at the heart 
of the middle way approach. One is keeping in mind two quite different aspects and letting them be in relationship. So that, for example, you might have a, a hope or an expectation that something positive that you, you would like to happen, happen will happen. Uh, but there might also be doubts about that, doubts about whether you can do it, the other person can be involved, whether it's even a good thing, uh, and a fear of well, rejection or failure uh, and a lack of uh, success, basically. And that pulls you, can, that fear can pull you back from actually carrying on and dealing with facing the, the hope and the expectation and finding out whether it is positive, whether it is helpful or not. So very generally, just to uh, in a way finish, there is a sense of how you're moving towards and you're moving away and finding the positive in both of those two tendencies and bringing them together so that they serve a creative process of awareness and positivity.